Hello, hello. Welcome again to another episode of Baldur's Gate 3. I'm your Let's Player Surreal. Nice of you to join us today. I hope you're doing well. You know, uh, as you can imagine, I'm just sitting here chilling in camp right now, rocking out some tunes with Forest Arian, Lazale, and Scratch. <laughs> I run. Weird enough, uh, Scratch is here just chilling. But the bestest boy in all the realms, I'm always happy to have around, so. Uh, let's see, if I remember correctly, it's been a couple days since I last recorded anything. Uh, we pretty much busted Nathaniel out of his uh, cursed loop, as it were. Of course, the curse is still anchored by Catherick Thorm, and we're going to have to do something about that. So that's kind of where we're picking up at. Let's go ahead and knock that out. Lazelle used tossed a coin. Wait, you had money? Were you holding now? Anyway. Alright. As far as I know, there aren't any more quests left to do other than going to investigate the Thorn Mausoleum find his quote-unquote relic um, that's right I do remember there was the issue with having to find the Will's patron inside the tower um, but that might not happen right away and if it does if I do happen to find uh, them I will go ahead and do a quick swap We are a long way from less light. Nope, wrong way. Anything of use? Rotten fish. check these graves I lament that I forgot I was going to run into Raph here I really missed an opportunity to progress a story and storyline but maybe we can find another opportunity we will see oh that's three gold I can't ignore alright here we are. Um, I didn't rest. Shit. I kind of want to go into this rested. My bad. Normally I do kind of this stuff off camera so as to not bug things down, but I, well, I missed it this time. Uh, nobody's got any dialogue or anything weird. No? Okay. Maybe it'll bring us closer. <laughs> Maybe it'll bring us closer. It's about time Halson actually stepped up and joined us properly. He's certainly been taking up space at camp for long enough. I agree. Uh, these illithid powders, what do you think of them? On one hand, they seem useful. 
But on the other hand, or perhaps tentacle before long, we know where they're coming from, and what lies at the end of that path. I never expected Ceramorphosis to be tempting. I think we should resist these powers. There's simply too many unknowns for us to risk it. Yeah, perhaps you're right. It's been known to happen. <laughs> Cheeky responses. I like it. What's Carlac doing? Soldier. All right. So, Look you smell very delicious, but I will not bite you. Nice here. The caves smell like rotting meat. Goblin cat smells like goblins. Man, I really wish some of these magics exhibited in this game actually were a real thing. I mean, speak about animals would be handy for a lot of people. Detect thoughts while intrusive could answer a lot of things, you know? But, you know, <laughs> we're not going to get too much in the ethical issues with that one. Anyway... Let's try this again. Do a quick save and let's go into this. Gutted catacombs. Filled with bones of the dead. The spell anime dead skeleton does not require a skeleton to raise the dead in this area. Oh, glutted, not gutted. I missed the L there. That's interesting. Why is that torch lit and none of the others are that are up high? Alright. Something good here, I hope. If you like calcium. Can I just hit you? This place is not for you. Go no farther. Well, I never was good at following directions. Also, I was always a bit more of a visual hands-on learner as opposed to following a written or simple set. I don't particularly like that gas there. Is it a gas? 
Possibly. Burns everywhere. Someone's been engaging in dark rituals here. Well, there's a diary of Catholic Thorm here. That's nice. Oh. Okay. Volume one. I guess this is Captain Thorne's backstory if you uh, fill the uh, feel the need to kind of read it. I'm just not really in a talky mood. Not a great deal anyway. Trying not to get sick. It's been going around. Catherick Thorne's forebears. He defiled their remains to make this effigy. But to what end? Yikes. OBJ generic immutable object. <laughs> I think somebody forgot to give that a uh, in-game name or title. Stained book. Sure. In order to find what lies beyond this body, one must walk its own footstep. Be ID from splendor, trash to infamy, as he put it. B. I will bet that B is Balthazar. Volume 3 of Catholic Thorm's Diary. Clearly he was camping out here for a while. A vicious cloak? Hmm, okay. Oh. Well, it's certainly better than the cloak I pulled out of the player chest you get for um, the deluxe edition. And since I am a blade singer, I will gladly take that. that look like it's 
It's awfully dainty. Okay. Well. Ah, that's a better look of it. Yeah, it's not much to it. Not really a fan of necromancy. Here lies Melodia Thorn, beloved wife and mother. A Armiel Tellere Manon here. So our antagonist lost his shit over his wife's death. He turned his back on Salune and immediately decided to join up with Merkel's cause for the sole purpose of trying to get his wife back. That's... Perfectly logical, right? <laughs> well, it is true that once an individual's time is truly up, uh, I'm sure of it. Lady Shah's presence is near. <laughs> anyway. Uh, yeah, like, it is true, according to D&D &D lore, like, once a, once a mortal sign, the soul is, time is truly up, you can't bring it back, um, with the exception, maybe, uh, probably the most powerful of divine magics, but even then, they still have the right to deny if they want to come back, so... has a problem with letting things die. Yeah. Isabel is Catherick Thorm's daughter. If you may have noted, uh, she had a medical condition. Probably lung cancer, if I had a guess. Now I wonder if I need a Storian. Nah, I'll be fine. step right on it. How many 26s is that now?
Oh, marble plate. Glad these DCs are awfully friendly, even on uh, tactician. I appreciate it, if only for the fact that, you know, even though I'm disabling everything, we don't actually really have a rogue in this party. Being said, I don't think I've ever seen the traps in here go off. I'm not sure what they would do. But given how there's pressure points, uh, gargoyle heads that spit stuff, and vents, I'm willing to bet. Uh, if I had to guess, it's an explosive gas, poisonous and explosive. At least that's what I would probably build for something like an 8th and ninth level team. But the idea to try to poison them and then force them to get disadvantage on their saving throws. <laughs> it's pretty nasty. Memory serves me. I think there was an order to this. That being said, it's kind of obvious if you've been paying attention to the journals. I just don't remember if there was more than one. I don't think so. So it starts with the grief of his wife's passing. That's one. I think this is two because he took command of the towers. Yep. 
And last, at least, not least, yeah, he's now a general with the towers being his base of a whole massive freaking army. Oh no. Okay. Missing one? It's entirely possible. Panning the camera around like a madman trying to see if I missed a missed a mural somewhere. Begs a question, how long was he in here? What the hell is this? I got it backwards. Oh, I think I do have it backwards. Well, I am an idiot. Check this out. So, I almost had it right. I need to swap these two. Well, that's embarrassing. At any rate, I'm going to go ahead and break episode here. Um, we'll continue exploring deeper into the mausoleum. As you can see, there is now a, something here. It's indeed something. <laughs> we'll see you in the next episode.